Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the Box of Dread for October. Um, yes, it is November 22nd at the moment, and this is the October box. They had an issue with items arriving, so it's almost a, a full month late for that reason. This is probably the second or third time they've that, had this kind of issue, but I don't think it's ever been as late as it is now, like almost a full month. But you know, whatever. Usually these are pretty good boxes. Plus, like I've said before, they're pretty cheap. These are $20, and that includes shipping as well. $14 for the box, $6 for shipping. So usually getting more than your money's worth for what's in here. Uh, low risk for that reason, high reward. So is what it is. Uh, I already took the label off. That's why it looks like this. But um, the last, I believe the September box was one of my favorites that they had done. I believe we got like the carry pop in that and I can't remember everything else but I just remember it being nice a uh, good box so I'm pretty excited for this oh yeah we got some other pops as well so like some other Funko related stuff like uh, I think a pop pen like a leather face pop pen and then there was a um, Funko South Park pop keychain that was Kenny as a zombie like zombie Kenny so um, yes, and they are sticking with their new boxes inside the shipping boxes. So, like we've shown before, very nice new logo, new box. I like it quite a bit. Um, once, oh, I should have said this off from the get-go. The lighting doesn't look, it looks worse than it usually does, so I have to apologize for that. I'm doing this at night as opposed to getting some natural light to come in and diffuse the artificial lighting, uh, which is usually what I like to do. <coughs> do excuse me. It's usually what I like to do, but... I have to do this at night because I want to get this out soon, and this is just kind of what I've had time. The friggin' holidays, you know. It, it uh, keeps you from being able to do stuff. All right, first off, I think there's a little bit of packaging. A little bit of packaging in there. Another poster. I'm not big on the posters, but sometimes they're kind of cool. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, so obviously it's Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, but it says Trapper Keeper at the bottom. I don't understand the Trapper Keeper thing. Uh, I do like the artwork of this, though, as you can see. I don't know if I bring it back far enough, like there's probably best. Um, it looks good. I mean, he's like swinging a machete and a, and a little axe. I mean, it's cool, but... Like I've said before, I don't really have a ton of use for these um, little posters just because, you know, I don't really put them up. I put up like art prints and autographs mainly, not really the posters. But if they end up being super cool, I'll put them up. This one is cool except I don't understand the little trapper keeper thing at the bottom. I don't get it. So I probably won't put it up for that reason. But good design, just not huge on that type of item. All right, next thing... Ugh, not a fan of this stuff. I actually have these too. Cookie cutters. Um, a Freddy and a Jason cookie cutter. Uh, I get that they're doing this because it's kind of like we're we're getting close to cookie making time, you know, Christmas and all that. But um, I I already got these. I got these in a horror block when horror block was actually in business. And I hated the item then. I hate the item now. Um, not a fan. Uh, the good thing, though, is that they do have some recipes on the back uh, that come with it. So, I mean, that's useful if you want to do it that way. But cookie cutters, man. I'd rather them just take these items out for this. Not a fan. There's something weird feeling in here. Oh, shit. Really? <sighs> Another, like kitchen related thing um okay these are jason Voorhees mask ice uh, it's an ice cube tray as you can see right there you can make ice that's like jason Voorhees mask i mean kind of novel um kind of okay i might at some <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> allergies uh kind of at some point at some point maybe i'll use these just because it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's better than the cookie cutters, especially because how many people actually make cookies anymore? There are more people who make ice than make cookies this day and age. 
you know, most people just buy cookies. So that's what I'm saying. But um, these are like the plasticky ones, so you can kind of like pop them out once they're actually frozen. So they're not bad quality or anything. It's just they don't interest me. This is probably shaping up to be the worst, the worst one I've gotten from them. Next thing is a Jason Voorhees bottle opener, mask bottle opener. As you can see, and this is cool, and the reason I wasn't excited about it, I would actually be excited about this if I didn't already have one. Uh, I got one, I think it was from Big Old Box of Stuff had sent it to me, but I think it looks different. Actually, hold on, I'm going to grab the one. Nope, it is the exact same one. So, that's a me, that's a me thing, uh, just the fact that I, I just happen to have it, so... Actually, uh, I would be kind of kind of jazzed about this if I didn't already have it. This is the best item in here at the moment because I drink beers, and um, it is cool to have a, a Jason Voorhees bottle opener. That is nice, and it's like it's a legit metal bottle opener. It's very nicely made. It's got heft to it. It's cool. I'm just not excited because I, you know, already already have one. So next thing's a DVD, Mischief Night. The lucky ones die first, okay? I am always cool with getting DVDs because I'm always cool to see a movie that I've not seen before, especially horror. So down with this, Mischief Night, as you can see. Um, I'm going to read you the back real quick. Daniel, Daniel Hugh Kelly stars with Allie Walker and Noel Coet. Nobody knows these people. In this pulse-pounding suspense thriller, traumatized by the death, death of her mother in a car accident nine years ago, young M. Walton suffers from psychosomatic blindness. Home alone on the night before Halloween, M.'s plans for a quiet evening take a horrifying turn when an unknown mass intruder materializes. In begins to systematically stalk and torment her. As the sadistic killer closes in, M. is forced to rely on her remaining heightened senses if she hopes to survive the terrifying darkness of mischief night i mean sounds like it could be fun it looks like it's very low uh production which isn't necessarily a problem as long as the story's good it sounds like a you know a typical like intruder movie which is fine if it's done well so i'm all right with that now here's the thing i think maybe there's a comic on the bottom i think it's the last thing yes Oh, there is, but it's not like it's not in like a bag or anything. It happens to be in in good shape, but you know, I wish they would have put like a bag on it or something. Um, Twilight Hotel is the name of the comic. I'm down with this. I like comics. I like horror comics, so I'm always down to get you know something like this, like a single issue of a of a comic that I could end up having interest in. It's pretty gory stuff. Yeah, check that out. It's like someone's missing a head. All right. Oh, wait. On the last page, the head's found. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> but you don't know the text there. But um, I like that. So I like the comic. I like the DVD. I'm down with this if I didn't already have it. Hate this. Um, you know, throw away to me. Um, I just don't get the Trapper Keeper thing. Otherwise, it's a cool design. Um, and, yeah. So, uh, so the, there's a person who hosted the box before there was there was one a person who did it. I think the person before did a much better job than the person this time. I guess it's Christina Kleb or Klebe. You can see her name down there, down there. And this is her. It's a very dramatic picture, dramatic pose right there. Um. Oh, she voiced the role of Jenny Myers in this year's Friday the 13th game. Oh, I love that game. That's the Friday the 13th video game, if people aren't playing it. If you had the smallest iota of an interest in it, you should 100% buy it. It is a fantastic, extremely fun game. It, it rocks. There's no single player. It's only online multiplayer, but kicks so much ass. So that's cool that she was involved with that, and they're getting her like involved with the box of dread. I like the concept on that. Um, this box is just not my favorite, but you know, 
with like these three good items, it was, I'm fine. Cause like I said, it's $20 box, low risk, high reward type thing. Um, this was just a bit of a letdown because this has probably been one of my least favorite boxes and that's right on the heels of one of my most favorite boxes. So, but you know, you're going to get that as long as they're not having like numerous ones that I'm not a big fan of in a row. That's when I'll start being like, uh, eh, should I cancel this? But I'm not in that territory at the moment. Um, hopefully the November one is more to my liking. And that's another thing. Like I just said, to my liking, you know, someone may have really loved this. You know, this is just my opinion of it. So anyway, everyone, thanks for checking this out. Uh, I am going to be having some other videos coming relatively soon. The regular BAM box for November will be here kind of soon and the regular BAM, uh, BAM horror box for November. And then I'm not sure if they're still backed up with Box of Dread, but we may be getting another Box of Dread box pretty soon for November. So I don't know. There may be... A succession of videos but anyway thank you everyone for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal and once again sorry for the lighting and everything